Within the 15 years since it went on sale, Nissan's most successful car to date is the Qashqai, a small crossover SUV. It is made to be very powerful, combining the attributes of a hatchback, its size, affordability, and driving dynamics, with the functionality, adaptability, and attractiveness of an SUV. The beloved family vehicle, the Nissan Qashqai, provides economical, useful motoring in an elegantly designed package. Since its first release over a decade ago, the Nissan Qashqai has proven to be a popular choice among owners of mid-sized family SUVs. This most recent model, which continues to be highly popular in 2020, outsold the Volkswagen Polo, Kia Sportage, and Mini Hatchback to rank as the sixth best-selling vehicle in 2019. Today, we're going to discuss some common symptoms that you should be on the lookout for in your Nissan Qashqai G11. Identifying these issues early on can save you time, money, and ensure your Qashqai stays in top-notch condition. So, let's dive in. Radio Problem Specific Nissan Qashqai models may have a radio that abruptly stops working or that won't pick up specific stations. Usually, this has to do with software problems. If the issue persists, try disconnecting and replugging the battery. If not, you should visit a dealer to have the Qashqai software updated. Ensure that the radio unit is receiving power. Check the fuse related to the radio in the car's fuse box. A poor or disconnected antenna can lead to weak or no radio signal. Make sure the antenna is securely connected to the back of the radio unit. Inspect the wiring connecting the radio to the power source and speakers. Damaged or loose wires can cause disruptions. Some radio units may experience issues due to software glitches or outdated firmware. Check if there are any available software updates for your vehicle's radio system. It's possible that the radio unit itself is faulty and needs to be replaced. If other troubleshooting steps don't resolve the issue, professional diagnostic tools may be needed to assess the radio's condition. How to spot it? Check the fuse for the radio in the vehicle's fuse box. Verify the wiring and connections to ensure they are secure. The radio unit itself may be faulty and might need to be replaced. Update the radio firmware if available. If the unit constantly freezes or crashes, there might be a hardware problem requiring professional inspection. Alternator problems. There might be problems with the alternator, especially with the intermittent plug that connects to the voltage regulator. The OEM harness's low length might cause the wires to fray. The alternator is responsible for charging the battery and providing power to the electrical system when the engine is running. If the alternator is faulty, it may not generate enough power, leading to battery drain and electrical issues. The voltage regulator controls the output of the alternator to maintain a steady voltage. A malfunctioning voltage regulator can cause overcharging or undercharging of the battery, affecting the vehicle's electrical components. The alternator is usually connected to the engine by a drive belt. If the belt is worn, loose, or damaged, it can affect the performance of the alternator and lead to charging problems. Loose or damaged wiring and connections between the alternator, battery, and other electrical components can result in charging issues. Corrosion on terminals can also hinder the flow of electrical current. While not directly an alternator problem, a weak or faulty battery can put additional strain on the alternator, leading to premature failure. It's essential to ensure the battery is in good condition. How to spot it? Dimming or flickering headlights, interior lights, or dashboard lights may indicate a problem with the alternator. A failing alternator may not recharge the battery properly, leading to a drained battery and difficulty starting the vehicle. Unusual noises, such as grinding or whining, coming from the alternator area may suggest internal issues. Turbo problems. Oil hunger might cause turbo troubles. This occurs when the engine is turned off while the turbo is hot, causing the oil return and feed pipes for the turbo to get partially clogged with carbon. Fortunately, you can easily prevent this issue by simply idling your car for a few minutes after a lengthy drive, especially if you've been traveling on a highway or have just finished towing. Over time, the turbocharger itself can wear out or fail due to factors like high mileage. 
lack of proper maintenance, or manufacturing defects. Insufficient oil levels or dirty oil can lead to poor lubrication of the turbocharger components, causing premature wear and potential failure. Restricted airflow due to a clogged air filter can force the turbocharger to work harder, leading to overheating and potential damage. A malfunctioning intercooler can reduce the efficiency of the turbocharger by not effectively cooling the compressed air before it enters the engine. Problems with the boost control system, such as a malfunctioning Wastigate or boost pressure sensor, can lead to inconsistent or incorrect turbocharger performance. A clogged catalytic converter or exhaust system can create excessive back pressure, affecting the turbocharger's performance. Leaks in the vacuum system that controls the turbocharger can result in improper functioning and reduced performance. How to spot it? A noticeable decrease in engine power or acceleration can be a sign of a turbocharger issue. If the turbocharger is not functioning correctly, it may not be delivering the expected boost pressure to the engine. If you see an increase in exhaust smoke, particularly black or blue smoke, it could be a sign of a turbocharger problem. Black smoke may indicate unburned fuel, while blue smoke may suggest oil entering the combustion chamber. Diesel Particulate Filter DPF Blockage The Diesel Particulate Filter DPF in a Nissan Qashqai G11, like in many other diesel vehicles, can become blocked due to a variety of reasons. The DPF is designed to trap and remove particulate matter from the exhaust gases of a diesel engine. Over time, the trapped particles can build up and cause blockages. DPF blockages are a common problem with Qashqai's, especially with the 2.0-liter diesel engine. If the 1.5-liter engine is utilized for a lot of short, low-speed trips, it can also stick valves. DPS need to reach a certain temperature to burn off the trapped particles. Regeneration process. If a vehicle is used mainly for short trips with insufficient time for the DPF to reach the necessary temperature, it may not be able to regenerate properly, leading to blockages. Poor quality diesel fuel can contain higher levels of impurities and contaminants that contribute to DPF blockages. The DPS system relies on various sensors to monitor the exhaust and control the regeneration process. If sensors are faulty or not working properly, it can lead to inadequate regeneration and potential blockages. The Exhaust Gas Recirculation EGR valve recirculates a portion of the exhaust gases back into the engine for emission control. If the EGR system is not functioning properly, it can contribute to DPF blockages. How to spot it? The most common indicator of a DPF issue is the illumination of warning lights on the dashboard. This may include the DPF light, check engine light, or a symbol that resembles an exhaust system. The vehicle's engine management system may reduce power output to protect the engine from potential damage due to excessive back pressure caused by a blocked DPF. Rear Suspension Issue Since rattling noises at the rear of the car are a frequent symptom of a recognized problem with the rear suspension shock absorbers, be careful to listen for them. Shocks or struts play a crucial role in providing a smooth ride and maintaining control over the vehicle. If they are worn or damaged, it can lead to a bumpy ride, poor handling, and uneven tire wear. Coil or leaf springs can break or sag over time, affecting the vehicle's ride height and stability. Suspension bushings help absorb road imperfections and vibrations. When these bushings wear out, it can result in noise, instability, and a decrease in ride quality. Control arms connect the suspension to the chassis. If they are damaged or worn, it can lead to poor handling and alignment issues. Incorrect wheel alignment can cause uneven tire wear and affect the vehicle's handling and stability. How to spot it? Rattling, clunking, or banging sounds from the rear of the vehicle while driving over bumps or rough surfaces may indicate a problem with the suspension components. Excessive bouncing, rough ride, or a feeling of instability while driving can suggest issues with the rear suspension system. This may be particularly noticeable when driving over uneven terrain. Uneven tire wear on the rear tires may indicate a problem with the suspension alignment or components. Check for irregular tread wear patterns. 
And that wraps up our comprehensive guide on the common issues to watch out for in your Nissan Qashqai G11. We hope you found this information helpful in maintaining and troubleshooting your vehicle. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys in our next video.